we will discuss on coordinate geometry. Coordinate geometry basically discuss the Cartesian and polar coordinates. That means two types of uh, coordinate system will be uh, discussed in this video. Cartesian uh, coordinates, two lines there are x o x dash and y o y dash intersecting at a point o that means this point is called origin and x o x dash this is x axis and similar y o y dash is y axis this two line divided the plane into four parts or four quadrants x o y x dash o y x dash o y dash and x o y dash this is the first quadrant and this is the second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant this uh, description is applied on this axis firstly we called that axis is hot axis when x o x dash and y o y dash intersect perpendicular simply they cut mutually perpendicular to each other then this axis is called rectangular axis otherwise it is public axis at angle omega length measured ox on the right hand side of x o x dash are positive similar for this ox is positive and ox a, x dash is negative o x dash is negative o y o y is positive and o y dash is negative now let p be any point on the plane for the oblique axis then p point is defined by p of x comma y draw a parallel line from p point and this is m so pm is parallel to y axis then pm equal to y and om equal to x it is similar for a rectangular axis for illustrating convenience we will write x axis and y axis for rectangular axis and x dash axis and y dash axis for oblique axis. Before uh, drawing this, we will discuss on polar coordinates. Suppose P be a point R comma theta on a plane, then OP be the distance between O and P point that means the distance from the polar and polar coordinate system there are initial line and this is polar so P be any point so R is the distance from O to P and OP makes an angle with the initial line theta
So now we will see the rectangular axis and oblique axis in same frame. This is the y axis and this is the x axis. X and this is Y. Intersect usually perpendicular at a point O. So this is the rectangular axis. We'll draw a public axis in the same figure. Firstly, we we'll draw. Axis Y dash axis dash axis makes an angle Omega. So for Illustrating convenience for discussion more in transform coordinate system, we will write x axis and y axis for rectangular axis and x dash and y dash axis for oblique axis, there are angle omega. These two figures in a same frame. Then we let this is the theta so theta be the angle between x axis and x dash axis when theta equal to 0 then we will drive the relation between rectangular axis and oblique axis and theta not equal to 0 will be discussed in another video so we redraw this figure when theta equal to 0 when theta equal to 0, then x dash axis and x axis be the same axis. So now we draw the figure. x axis and this is y axis. must be intersect mutually perpendicular to each other since for oblique axis s dash axis and x axis be the same axis so we will draw only the y dash axis y dash axis x axis let p be a point on the plane which is defined by rectangular axis then x comma y but for oblique axis we define this x dash and y dash this we will seen in before and we draw a pm line such as pm parallel to y axis then pm equal to y and om equal to x but p is the same point and defined for public axis then 
we draw a parallel line from a point p and this is pm dash so pm dash parallel to y dash axis and pm dash equal to y dash and om dash equal to x dash this is x dash. since pm dash and y dash axis are parallel so this angle is also omega now for from the trigonometric rule sine cos so cos omega equal to mm dash mm dash divided pm dash that means om minus om dash pm dash so x minus x dash by y dash So we can write x equal to x dash plus y dash cos of similarly sin omega equal to pm by pm dash that means y by y dash so y equal to y dash sin of omega these two lines write in them plus that means x equal to x dash cos omega and y equal to y dash sin omega this coupled equation is the relation targeted relation between rectangular and oblique axis when theta equal to zero thank you very much